Welcome, friends and fans, to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are going back to Sherwood Forest, as imagined by Mel Brooks, with two fantastic actors from Robin Hood, Men in Tights. And now is the time for all of you in our chat room to begin typing in your questions for them. Immediately after this session, you will have the opportunity to talk to them directly through our private chat options, as well as shop our selection of personalized autographs, all of which are available now at GalaxyCon.com. We do apologize for the, the, the late beginning. We had some unexpected technical difficulties. But now, without further ado, let us turn the page and bring out our guests. First, she is an actress whose incredible body of work includes Pretty Woman, The Problem Child Films, and of course, Wings. Today, she joins us to discuss the role of the fastened Maid Marian. Please welcome Amy Yasbeck. Yo, yo, yo! Hi, everybody. Oh. Hey, Amy, how are you? And a hey, nani, nani, and a yo, yo. <laughs> uh -oh. oh it's so good uh, thank you for joining us today how are things in your part of the world things in my part of the world are smoggy okay <laughs> That's all. but other than that all, all good thank you I'm absolutely my, i'm working on my display here i see i see the treasure the, the treasures of, of of the past indeed they are the treasures of the past i'm a hoarder <laughs> amy thank you so much for joining us today so glad to have you here I'm glad to be here. <laughs> and our next guest is an actor and writer who includes credits include Stranger Things, The Marvelous Miss Basil, and of course, The Princess Bride. Today, though, he joins us to recount his role of Robin of Loxley. Please welcome back, Carrie Always. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Carrie, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you, Patty? I am doing well. Uh, just out of curiosity, is that the emperor behind you on the uh, on the bookcase there? Oh, that is yes, that is Emperor Napoleon. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I just thought thought so. I couldn't tell from here. It was zoomed on into it. So, Carrie, um, how are you doing in your part of the world? I'm doing very well, thank you. All all good on this end. Thank you for there asking. There is actually me. sitting right there. We're tricking you. <gasps> it's an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion. Oh my God. <laughs> Doug Henning. Ah, uh, God bless you went, him. You went back to the Doug Henning. It's an illusion. <laughs> Don't talk. You. Anything is possible in the world of magic. <laughs> uh, Carrie, Amy, thank you so much for joining us here today on the GalaxyCon virtual stage. As always, we at GalaxyCon are looking forward to the day where the world gets a little bit back to normal. And I think that we see that light at the end of the tunnel. We're not quite there yet, but we're just about there. And we're looking forward to the day where we can once again host you in our physical stages and get you all back in front of your fans. In the meantime, we have this electronic forum, and we are so glad to have you here. Uh, our you. team is going through the chat room right now, pulling out questions. i just like to throw this out. Uh, what's... What what was your what was your what was your favorite memory to come out of Men in Tights? Gary. Uh <laughs> my favorite was getting the call from Mel. I he yeah. called me at home. And I've told this story a million times, but I, I got a call at home and I picked up the phone and said, Is Carrie always there? I said, Yes. Uh, who is this? He goes, It's Mel Brooks. Apparently. And I said, Yeah, no, it's not. And I hung up on him. I thought, I thought someone was pranking me. You know, why would Mel Brooks be calling me at home? First of all, I don't know yeah, how he got my home number. But anyway, he called me and he called back and I picked up and he goes, don't hang up, don't hang up. It's really me. And, uh, and then he pitched the whole idea of the movie to me. And so that was the beginning of a beautiful journey with Amy and this wonderful cast that we that that Mel put together and the crew. I mean, we just had a it was a, a joyful ride, right? Right, Amy? Uh, unbelievably joyful. The the thing you said about yes, that was a very very thrilling moment. Yeah. When Mel Brooks calls you, I was right? hoping you were coming. I had no audition for it, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, guess what? Guess what? For saw. Yeah. What? Um, Guess uh, what, though, Amy? Amy what? nailed it. I nailed it. Um, <laughs> but he, it, it, when he called me at home, he said, "Kid, don't leave town. Don't cut your hair." I'm like, "Okay." That's how he told me that I got it. Like I was going to leave town and, and cut my hair to do Joan of Arc somewhere on the stage. Right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, so I, did. I stayed in town. I got extension. Yeah. <laughs> I did wig it a bit, though. Nice. So, uh, what was uh, what was it like working with Mel on the set? I imagine he's. I've heard stories. He's quite the firecracker. Firecracker. 
<laughs> I think he is. I think he is. I think it was all. It's all explained by the fact that he was a what is it? Gary? He was a corporal. He was a sergeant. He was a something during the Battle of the Yes, and it so was. He, it was run with military precision, but it was mostly about having fun. For for Mel, the journey is as important as the destination. Super super fun. Agreed. Super but fun. When he got the bullhorn and we were out in Cantaloupe Valley, as I like to say, out in Antelope Valley, and he was like yelling at like, you know, he had to like project. It yeah. came out. There was some there was some precision. Oh, he would come up, he would give us notes, things like he'd come up and he'd go, Okay, in this take, suck less. Yeah. Do it <laughs> right. And when he was, I mean, my, my favorite the first time he said this, so which many times, when I would get it right, he'd go, Surprisingly good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You do things like that, right, Amy? Surprisingly, good. Surprisingly good is a real give and take at the same yeah. time. Like a little slap in the head, pat on the back, slap in the head. Good job. Boom. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd say things like, I guess that'll do. <laughs> uh, print it? <laughs> yeah, right. And print that, I guess. So print them all. We'll find out later. Yeah. <laughs> what was crazy is, I mean, I've uh, never, Carrie, maybe uh, I have, I mean, I have never had somebody say, sure, everybody come to dailies and watch yeah. what you did yesterday. And some people don't like to do it. I was like, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, that was a, a huge part of, of learning it for me. But to be able to, like, he'd invite us in. And just like watch him watch dailies and just go. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that will never happen again because there are no dailies anymore. So it was the end well, of an I mean, era. No, Carrie, I haven't been working that much, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is, is online now. <clears throat> Everything. Everything's so, on the line. Oh, God. <laughs> this is very, that's why I got dressed up and pushed my boobs up for this. All on the line. That's all I heard you say. Wait a minute. Situation. Uh, <laughs> Funko Pops. What are those things? Yeah, the Funko. Funko Pops, the big head thing. Yeah. Funko Pops. That's my. That's my goal. Yeah, these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I? How do I? How do I get one of those? Of me? Do I have to be in something fancy, or can it be old school like the mask and stuff? Can somebody just make me one? Make you feel better. I'm sure yeah. someone can make one. There, 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 there are people who make custom ones. Uh, yeah. They could certainly do that for you. I'm a bit surprised that you know that makes sense. The Mel, the Mel, I think the Mel Brooks catalog definitely is due for a Funko Pops. Yeah, let's absolutely. Start. Okay, I'm just saying that's a big deal. I didn't realize it was a big deal till um, I was informed that I didn't have one. <laughs> all right, I'm people totally. in our audience, start that hashtag today. Uh, hashtag Funko Pops for Men in Tights. And let's go ahead and jump into our audience questions because I think we got a good bank to go. And here's one from Juan. Ooh, what was your favorite joke in the film? Ooh, uh, go ahead, Amy. What's your favorite I, I joke? Enjoy a sight, I enjoy a sight gag. So I liked when uh, you were singing to me and your sword went up. <laughs> yes. it like I could actually achieve that on, on my little screen here. Um, and it looked like you had a eagle boner right that was that and, was fun I, mean, I have i don't know private but um and everybody laughed and thought and then it turns out it was just the sword i enjoy a sight gag yeah um, that's me vamping to give you time to come up with an answer harry thank you no i i uh, there's so many moments for me i think one of the, my favorite was um coming to the set and seeing the guys sing the the rap song it was so funny um the, the the rap song we came up with for the for the movie the hey nonny nonny thing it was hilarious yeah but um but dave dave <laughs> for me every day on the set with dave was hilarious because he would just come up with stuff that was insane i mean from the the, the day i really cracked up <clears throat> is when he's like see i'm on one side of the river and then i'm on the other <laughs> the, thing, the mississippi <laughs> it just killed me did he yeah. do that? Was that him? Was that his? Yeah, he came up with that. He goes, this ain't the Mississippi. And you it's got hilarious. so much more time with him than I did. I mean, on screen. Yeah. No, and off. No, we became very close. We're, we're, I, I love Dave. He's just a, a fabulous guy. Very generous. Uh, absolutely. That, 
<clears throat> that 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 whole cast it just uh, cast. your cast mates on those just superb. I mean, look at the cast: Richard Lewis, uh, Patrick Stewart, Roger Reese, Tracy Ullman. I mean, you can, it's a, an Amy Amy Asbeck, great Amy Asbeck. Right. Oh, this is going to fall can't over. Beat oh. oh, did you know that I worked with Mark Blankfield before? With who? Um, did Mark Blankfield. You did? With, oh, yeah. What you guys do? We did um, uh, <laughs> Splash 2. Oh, wow. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I I am actually I'm a huge fan of Mark Blankfield. Uh, yeah, from from his Paul. days for his days on Fridays, uh, Jekyll and Hyde oh. together again. Uh, yeah, I was. Just a little shout out to Mark. We love Mark. We Absolutely. love Mark. Shout out to Mark. Mark. <laughs> if anybody gets a chance. Absolutely. Um, and Juan, thank you. Great question. And for me, it was the exit sign in the castle. I don't know why. I just laugh every time I see that. It was just such a simple. Because right. I, I love gags that aren't acknowledged, that they're just there and you just got to pick up. So Easter eggs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what do we have next? Here's one from Matthew. If you could do another fairy tale parody, Men in Tight style, which tale would it be? Huh, huh. I don't know. Once you've done Men in Tights, it's very hard to it's step tricky. into that again. You know? know if, if, if Robin Hood, it was more of a historical... Like a legend than than a than a fairy tale, so I, I mean there there are some, but there aren't. I don't can't think of one with like that much story to it, right? I mean you could do the Pied Piper like in and out. They're more like sketches. We could do them, but, right? Uh, Maybe like, Ivanhoe, like that, something like that, that, or the Black Arrow, something like that. Yes. Hmm. And, but once you've done, I mean that's the thing with Mel. Once you've done a comedy medieval film. If, you've done, if it Mel Brooks has made it, how are you going to top that? You can't. Yeah. You parody, can't. Parody the parody, but we'll leave that to Gen. Yeah. Gen. Uh, what would it be? Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, yeah. Just, you know, that generation. <laughs> and they do. But Carrie, have you? I know you have. You've seen like videos. Please make me. I, if I haven't sent them to you, of like high schools. And talent shows doing like scenes, men in no. time, like the kids. Oh, oh, high school. Oh, high schoolers doing this, doing the movie as a as a you as a play. Yeah, like doing the kick line or yeah, yeah, it's great. It's yeah, great. yeah. I think yeah, I get sent those. They're great. Want to know uh, about my wardrobe it, because well, they, Mel, Mel was talking about doing it as a musical on Broadway. I I don't know what happened. Hmm. I think he was hmm. he said that was the next one he wanted to do. So we'll see. But he's ninety four. I mean, the fact that he's accomplished all of this. Uh, in his lifetime is incredible. I'm not sure that he has the energy to do it, but I, I, he, I was hoping he was going to get to it because the music's already there. It's a ready for a musical. Yeah. The music was, the Men in Tights song was already there because it's the same song, same tune as Jews in Space from Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. Okay. We're Jews out in space, so make around, but take care of the Hebrews. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you know, it? Yeah, that's yeah. Wait, what was it history, from a history of the world, part one. Yeah. Sing it, sing it again, Patty. No. How's it going? <laughs> Is Jews in space from history of the world, part one, or from Spaceballs? No, from history of the world, part history one. Of the world, it was. It was Yes, and it was supposed to be, and coming next, History of the World Part 2, see, you know, Hitler on ice, and it's a Hitler impersonator doing the oh ice skating, and then see, Jews in space, and there's a, a Star Wars parody sequence, which kind of was his impetus for later doing Spaceballs. He was like, hey, I think I like you. Yeah. But they're so. all rabbis, right? In a <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what are they singing? What are they singing, Jews buddy? Jews out in space, we're zooming around, we're kicking the Hebrew race. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you didn't know that? That's my own. That's my job. It's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. Today, I'm a man. Today, I'm a man. Oh, God, that's genius. Absolute genius. Right? Recycle. I don't know if he could get away with all of that stuff today, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I think Mel's just gotten, he's an elder statesman now. So I think. He just, you know, uh, they haven't come after Blazing Saddles, and I hope they never will. No. So, no, well, you know, I mean, you could never make that movie today. It's just no, no way. No. 
No, not at all. Not at all. So there's a lot they couldn't do today, but but we're but we're glad for what we had. So that's exciting. And Matthew, thank you. Wonderful question. What do we have next? Here's one from Addy. Ah, oh, which do you prefer, drama or comedy? Drama or comedy? Amy, which do you prefer? Comedy. Get away with um, I like comedy too. Uh, I like both, but comedy obviously is is great fun because uh, the set is 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 joy is really joyful. I mean, every set is joyful, but comedy is particularly joyful. Nothing worse right than being there. on a comedy set that is not joyful. No, oh God, that's awful. Uh, I don't think I've oh God, I've never had that experience. Uh, there but were uh, you? there were some uh, there were some non joyful parts when I worked on the mask. Always with Carrie was great. Carrie, oh, Jim, right. you're Carrie. Oh, I work with yeah. all the Carries. <laughs> yeah, I did. That was cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Addy, thank you. Good one. What do we have next? Here's one from Kevin. Ah, uh, do you have any mementos from the set? All of them. Um, I have the Robin Hood uh, hat. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Oh wow, <laughs> Gary, I have one of. I have a hat. A Ro Mel gave me a Robin Hood hat that you signed. Can you hear me? Can you hear me. And, but it's not the it's not Robin Hood. I think we just he just uh, I think Carrie signed a couple of uh, Mary Men. Okay. It. But you know what I have somewhere and I couldn't find it today. Is no, my, I can't. I, I I can't find it. But it's in storage here. But I have the hat. But that's oh, wow. your actual hat that you wore. I, yeah, I kept it. I have because Mel nice. gave me one that's a, a different one from one of the guys, and like you signed it, not like trying to say that it's your the Robin Hood. Uh, I don't want to say. So, <laughs> oh, that's where it went. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, I, it. I have our wedding ring somewhere. Oh, you do? Oh. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. no, my fake nail fell off the middle one. Mm -hmm. Must be from all that flipping off I was doing earlier. Because <laughs> I, I imagine our audience was hoping you'd say you kept one of the belts. Me? Right. Not one of the belts. There was one belt and it was stolen, Mel said. Okay, he's probably using it as a salad bowl. Who knows? But, <laughs> I, have a sword. I have a sword too, actually. I have a sword. Oh, nice. also. You do? Yeah, I do. I'm jealous. Those were heavy. I wish Victor Paul designed these swords for us to for me and Roger to fight, and they were so heavy that we got such a workout every day when we were training. You don't even know. Let's see your muscles. Ah. They're gone. <laughs> yeah, those are medieval swords, and in Princess Bride, you were using more rapier types, so they're lighter yeah. and quicker. And yeah. 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 So. May I say the word epi? Isn't that one? It's in the cross. Epi. 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 Pride. So whatever. That's fine. That's fine. No, epi. Epi. Same thing. Four letter word for the law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> thank you. Well, what do we have next? Here's one from Tabula. When filming, do you had did you have any idea this amazing film would end up as a cult classic? Well, you know the good news about Mel is that every nearly everything he's done has has, has achieved cult status. You know, and that's just yeah. because Mel. You know, he's just uh, Mel. in touch with the zeitgeist, mm. and that's been his career. It's that he's always been on the cutting edge of comedy. Um, <laughs> You're right about that, but I mean, I don't think we were thinking of it in that way. But maybe no. that's why it is because we were uh, we were just maybe, like you said, Carrie, maybe it just it comes through how much fun everybody was was having. Right. Many tongues and many cheeks, mostly our own. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was very confident. He was very confident as uh, as a director, knowing that he was getting what he wanted, and he wouldn't he wouldn't let us go, right, Amy, until he got what he wanted. Right. Um, but we had no idea it would be a cult film. We were just hoping it would, like any movie that we work on, that it would be successful and people enjoy it as much as we did. You know, Gary, it got, did it get more popular once it was on TV and people started watching it? Oh yeah, no, it, it, the VHS market very much helped the movie. You know, we were very lucky in the in that we our film came out still when the VHS market was still very very active um transitioning into dvds so those those two ancillaries really helped boost the, the, the market the, the film did very well when it opened it wasn't it wasn't a, 
Uh, it was a quite a quite a successful movie. They were very happy with it, Fox. I know. In fact, they were talking about a sequel, but I, I Mel doesn't didn't want to do one. He never wanted to do a History of the World part two. Yeah, but I would have seen. I would have loved to have seen Jews in space. As a, <laughs> as a, as a, that would have been just genius. Uh, yeah, that's right. He's he's he's. I I know he's bounced around idea for a Spaceballs sequel for a long time. He did an animated series, but he had the greatest title of all time. It was going to be Spaceballs Three: The Search for Part Two. <laughs> yeah, that I thought was great. So, uh, Tamala, thank you. I think we have time for one more. So let's see. If we got a really fun one uh, from Ethan. Ooh, what has been your favorite role throughout your entire career? Amy. Mary. No. Gary. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Gosh, I, this was one of my favorite roles, the, the playing this part. I mean, to get this call from Mel, to, like I said, to come and work with him. And he literally pitched me on the idea. He goes, I'm going to make a movie about Robin Hood. I did this show years ago called When Things Were Rotten. Did you ever see it? And I said, yes, I did, Mel. I, and he goes, well, we're just going to capitalize on that. Capitalize on it. I'm going to music that's how he pitched it. But he came to the screening. He came to the first screening of The Princess Bride, which obviously was another role I enjoy immensely. But wow. he came to the first screening and he brought Carl Reiner and Gene Wilder. And I was in awe of all of them. You know, I grew up with these guys. Yeah. And they all came back after the movie and, and congratulated me. And I, I was absolutely dumbfounded. I didn't even know what to say to anyone. But... Um, then it was about literally, I can't remember how long after it was when Mel called me because he obviously had this idea of percolating this movie. Fair, fair. Marion is my favorite role. Hey, Marion is my favorite role. Yeah, I can't. I, uh, I, I, oh, uh, my, uh, absolutely. Just because, you know, uh, when we were on the, on the set, what is it? The What is the place where we, the, next to Formosa Cafe? <laughs> The oh, Formosa, no, so, um, on the West Hollywood lot. Formosa, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it's that anymore. I don't know what it is. But um, Carl Reiner was shooting on the lot, same lot. He was shooting the thing with Sean, um, the, the, the thing that was like Fatal Attraction, whatever it was called. He was doing a parody. And so there were a couple times where oh, yeah. he and Mel would just be like, sitting in in director's chairs just the two of them and it's that thing where you just can't you like am, really like am i dreaming yeah. you know because you're like watching it through the eyes of like like you said here like these people that you grew up watching it's yeah. like and you're seeing it and you're like don't forget a thing i was just yeah. kind of really and we lived enjoying. in the moment we lived in the moment didn't we amy we were right in the moment and you really 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 sometimes I, I you know i try to achieve that in other ways in my life like don't forget it's all valuable thing but it, you don't have to think about it very hard when you're sitting there with those those two guys and yeah. the man off comes to visit i literally genuflected to her i didn't mean to he said i think you know my wife and i was like ah, hi. <laughs> Like, yeah, I was, I was in the, like, Mel, who doesn't know your wife? I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, actually, we, I think we got a minute or two. I think we could go. Yeah, we can just go a few more. So, thank you, Ethan. Let's see if we can do another quick, one or two quick ones. Ah, here's one from Ash. Were there any pranks on the set? Any pranks? Um. I can't remember any pranks per se. I, I, I remember. Uh, do you remember any, uh, Amy? Well, for me, uh, I brought my camera every day, and Jim Wise, who was I think Mel's assistant at for the time being there on the set, um, took my camera when I was working and took a picture of his butt or something. Again, things you wouldn't do today, and then. When I got it developed at like Fox Photo, I was like, ah, it was funny. It was him and somebody else. And somebody took it of them. Just maybe it was just the top of their cracks. I don't know. Um, and but when I got back to the set, I pretended like I had an emergency phone call from my mother who had actually passed away years ago. 
um, because I had sent her the roll of film, which was a lie. And she was calling okay. me because she was like very upset about something, but I had already seen it. I think he bought it for like two seconds, but it was it was stupid. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you understand that joke? I flipped it on him, I made him think that he gave my mom a heart attack. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks. There's some people in our audience that are they're wrapping their heads around uh, film, develop, what? Oh, you know what, kids? <laughs> I remember when this was all orange groves, as far as the eye could see. <laughs> all... I think <laughs> 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 there was out there. Oh. <laughs> I think every every go. direction from from Mel was a prank, really. You know, every line. You know, things like would say after a take, you'd go, "Is that what you're gonna do?" You know, uh, just always to keep you uh, uh, laughing and in that yeah. in that funny space. Right. You know, the worst thing an actor can say to another one is, "Oh, oh, is that how oh. you do it?" <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna like ramp it up for or like. Hey man, we were rolling. <laughs> like what was that? <laughs> or you say things. You say things like, "Was that a rehearsal?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that out of your system? Right. Come on. How That's many more true. do you need? How many more <laughs> do you need? We're, we're going to lunch soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on my way now. Yeah, but he did not like. I mean, he like like when people would like talking hey mel how about and he's like no more how abouts hey what if i don't want to hear it because like if a joke like or some little thing like didn't land and actors were trying to put their heads together and do his job he's like no no he would go he's like put his hand out to me don't even approach me with your ideas <laughs> unless you you see like stuff is i have a very fluffy chair you see this Ooh. thanks Way there, you get just what I need. <laughs> it's getting in my eyes, though. It's getting in my eyes. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, look at that. There I we so, are. I have so, so many. I don't have a picture of Jim Weiss's butt. I don't know where that is. That's awesome. I, I have You're a lot of pictures. You ever thought of uh, compiling like a, a scrapbook of some kind, yeah. put them together and publishing? Is that a thing? Yeah. Somebody let me know how to do that. Carrie, can you write the foreword? Sure. Can we can do I'll, it I'll write the backward. Yeah, there's been, there's there's a fair amount of actors or whatever that are on the set of, of, of films and they just took roles and roles of film. They just put it up. Hey, this is on day three and this happened and yeah. There's 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 a market. All right. Sure. Call so, me yeah. about that, Patty. <laughs> All righty. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Gary, look oh wow! At oh, that's you awesome. That, you see that straight hair wig? That's because when I was wearing the the wig that they're applying to me, the front was all me, and then right. it's called a fall the back. That straight hair one, they would spend all day in there curling that. No way! Them. They would curl that yeah, wig. They would curl. They yes, they curled that flat wig every day. So there were two of them. It was like a pit crew, and so I would like stop in, and they would apply it to me, and then <laughs> I was back out there. Wow, that's I'm amazing. Saying, also stolen. <laughs> no way. Hold on, guys. Hey. Get my, uh, hold on. I'm going to uh, my battery's dying. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on, bro. We don't oh. need you for Carrie. Oh, uh, look at this, Mark. Got all those guys? Yeah. Yeah, you know those guys. Yeah. I have a thousand pictures. <laughs> And I figured out how to uh, use my scanner last night. So this is what I was doing last night. That's why I have to have on so much makeup. And I didn't sleep. I was so excited. Uh, are you okay there with your battery there, Boomer? Just in time. Just hey, look safe. at those pictures. Can you see them? Oh, those are great, Amy. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. You have to send those to me. Those are so I great. Was, or maybe oh, you can my God. Look at Matthew Peretta wearing, oh, my God. And Roger holding you—that's so great. Uh, he was yeah, such a great actor. 
love Roger so much. Uh, yes, I, when, P P right. when PBS ran his uh, Nicholas Nickleby uh, in the 80s, yeah, so much right? my mom, and we were just agape. That was just like, they did this in one performance? I no, it was unbelievable. They would do that on stage, too, that started out as a play, and it would be like a, a an all-day event. You had to That's go right. and, have to walk and come back. I mean, he was unbelievable. Like, yeah. Four hours? I yeah. Think in four hours, I'm like crazy. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible, extraordinary talent. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I think we do have time for. Oh, what do we have next? Oh, oh my God, look at that! You got to send those to me, Amy. You have to. There's another one where he's looking at my boobs. In a cassette consensual way. Oh, there it is. Hold on. <coughs> Dang it! Not you, Carrie. You're a perfect gentleman. I try oh, to be. All right, let me see if I caught oh some. I can get them up. Hey, what? You can see my ring light. Yeah, I have one. We all have them. There's a ring light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> uh, well, Ash, thank you. This was a great Ash. question. So much so. And we're almost at the time. GalaxyCon viewers, this has been my time with a cast of Robin Hood Men in Tights, but it absolutely does not have to be yours. Carrie, if you got a picture up, we got a minute or two if you want to throw it up to you. Uh, um, if you'd like to chat with us. I have. I'm gonna try and get them up, but I uh, yeah, I need some help. Carrie, try to get it up, but I need help. I just everybody quote that. Carrie says. Ask me what I've been up to. Well, uh, I was about to. I was about to say. Uh, to, we got a few minutes here. While Carrie gets a picture, please tell us about the John Ritter Foundation for Aortic Health. John Ritter Foundation for Aortic Health. Carrie knows all about it. He's been very, very helpful. Love you, Carrie. Um, since uh, John passed away in 2003, sadly, from an undiagnosed aortic dissection. Um, I have been trying to raise awareness about the general public's risk for this genetically also. There's the John Ritter Research Program in Aortic and Vascular Diseases. See, I just do Anyway, I am. Uh, and something amazing called Ritter Rules, which will explain your uh, your, your risk, it, it gives you like the, the rules for understanding uh, your risk for aortic aneurysm and dissection. And we are rebooting the whole system. We've got a kick-ass CEO and it's what I do. Yeah, no, Amy's work has been amazing on, on yeah. with the foundation. She really has, she's, she's made it her life's journey and she's extraordinary how she's brought awareness and, Thank and you. compassion to this. Carrie loved John even before I did. Uh, I love John. John put, was the first person to put me on stage. Right. The first person to put really? me on the stage. Yep, extra. Yep, <clears throat> at the Westport Country Playhouse. There you go. Gave me my first acting job. So I forever have John Ritter to thank for my career, really. Yeah, you guys were cute when you were together, like when he came on the uh, show. He was we, lo we love John. John was one of the supremely beautiful human beings. Um, if you ever had the, the, obviously Amy was married to him and knew him intimately, but for the rest of us, if you were, if you were lucky enough to have John Ritter in your life, you were a better person for it. The yeah. highest compliment <clears throat> and his, his two acting sons, Jason Ritter and Tyler Ritter, <clears throat> get this every once in a while. It's not just that they resemble him, but somebody working on the set behind, behind the camera, anybody would say, remind me of your dad and wow. how he is on the set how he was with people. And that's really the, the highest compliment. He really knew how to, to really do it in a very uh, grateful way. To be able to do well, whenever I, we host other actors and whenever I see that they did uh, a stint on Hooperman, I always say, hey, you were on Hooperman because that show is so far ahead of its time. Um, really, a, a legitimate attempt to do a dramedy, and it was it was it was uh, uh, not to not to put down Three's Company at all, but obviously it was a breakaway. And I felt like this is John Ritter. This, this I have to me a is lot of Hooperman stuff comes. to show you and send you. I I absolutely will, and I I will. Carry. <laughs> and I will always say too that whenever we talk about whenever we have discussions at the conventions about hey top ten superhero movies, Hero at Large is always on my list yeah. as well. Yes, a absolutely. How do I get this, now? How do I get this photograph up on online for everyone to see? Well, how do I do that? 
You don't. Oh. You take a picture of it with your phone and turn around and show us. That's the Is that what you want me to do? That I, might I, be I, easiest, I or, you can, or you can email it to our producer real quick. No, that's okay. I'll just show it to you guys. All right. So All right. here's one of, um, can you see this? Let's see. If it's <laughs> yes. Oh. Got it. That's Amy. Mel's making us all laugh right there. I'll just show it. You don't so you've got it. I think you sent that to me. All right. Uh, well, here's, here's another one. Here's another one. I love that you've got uh, on there. Hold on. I'm gonna... This is me with the with Mel taking oh. a break from shooting. Gary, how many of those do you have? Let's do a book together. And, and there you go. Uh, let's see, here's one with him directing me. This is, I think this is where he's saying, you need to suck less here. Suck less. Suck <laughs> less. Faster. Funnier. Oh, yeah, lunch. We're, we're hungry. Everybody's hungry. So let's keep, keep it quick. That's the thing. The pressure <laughs> of, of lunch. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, I have Polaroids. Oh, oh wow. That's awesome. Look that's at awesome. that. I think that's, I feel like that's the first day I think the first thing we did was the banquet scene with you coming in. Can that possibly be the first thing we I did? I think it might have been. Yeah, I think it might where have you, been. Where you, where you throw the the pig on the thing? Yeah. Oh, right. Wow. Oh, yes, that one. Yeah. Very signable. That one. I sign right on the That's horses. The signable yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. And speaking of signing, GalaxyCon viewers, this has been my time with a cast of Robin Hood Men in Tights, but it absolutely does not have to be yours. If you'd like to chat with our guests like I have today or purchase a personalized autograph, you can sign up at GalaxyCon.com. And while you're there, please check out our schedule of upcoming events just like this one. Carrie, Amy, this has been an absolute delight. Any final words for our audience before we go? Before we go? Just thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And thank Jared, you. I love you and thank you for everything you do for the foundation. Appreciate it. It, is, it has been my absolute privilege to host you thank both you, today. Thanks. Thank you again so much for joining us on the GalaxyCon virtual stage. Thank you to our audience for joining us today and thank you for your great questions. Hope to see you all again soon. Until then, bye bye, everyone. Take care and please keep washing those hands. Thanks. Thanks.